Hey everyone, my name is Richard. Hey guys, my name is Arjan, and we're both students at Harvard Medical School. So these past weeks have been really unprecedented and unpredictable. We've seen school closures and event cancellations, and even for us, our clerkships have been transitioned to be only outside of the hospital. Over the past week, a group of us have been fielding questions uh, about COVID-19 and what's been going on, and we've been working with our faculty and professors to get some of those questions answered. This is part of a broader effort called Future MDs vs. COVID-19, and you can find more information about us both on Instagram and Twitter, and the links are in the description below. So I think one of the biggest questions that we've gotten over the past few weeks is what exactly social distancing is and what it means for all of us out here. So as many of you have probably heard by now, social distancing is really important for us to flatten the curve. Uh, and what that means is that it will really help with slowing the progression of the disease uh, to make sure that our hospitals and healthcare systems are not overwhelmed. Another big question that we've been getting is what to do if you feel sick or you're worried that you are sick at those times. The current recommendation from the CDC is that if you're feeling sick or you feel like you have symptoms, to stay home, self-isolate, and stay away from other people if you can. If you feel like you need to go see the doctor, be sure to call ahead before going to visit them. That being said, if you feel like this is a medical emergency, please call 911 and seek immediate care. So Arjan, does that mean that if I am feeling well and don't have any symptoms, that it's possible that I could have COVID-19 and still transmit it to other people? That's a great question. What we know so far is that most patients with COVID-19 will develop symptoms within 11 or 12 days, and the vast majority will develop symptoms within 14 days. But there have been reports of patients who have been asymptomatic and are still able to transfer the infection from person to person. And I think that is why it's extremely important for us, even if we're feeling well and don't feel like we've had any contact with someone who is suspected of COVID-19, that we still minimize contact with others as much as possible. So the big question for our age group is, is this a disease that is just affecting the elderly and those who are sick, or is this something that is serious and can affect us as well? So data just came out from the CDC this week that said of all the people in the U.S. right now who are hospitalized for COVID-19, 38% are in between the ages of 20 and 54. So it's important for us to recognize that we are not immune or invincible to serious effects of COVID-19. One of the questions we've been getting quite a lot this week is whether or not it's possible to become reinfected with COVID-19 a second time if you've already been infected once before. And the short answer is we don't know, but most likely not. Earlier this week, Dr. Anthony Fauci stated that if COVID-19 is like any other virus, once you recover, you won't be reinfected. So there's been a lot of hype about masks in the media. If you look on Amazon, you're not even gonna be able to buy one. Mm -hmm. what, what are the current recommendations out there about wearing a mask? So the CDC currently does not recommend wearing masks on a day-to-day -day basis, unless you are feeling sick with a fever and cough and can't avoid interacting with other people, or if you are a care provider caring for patients with COVID-19 or suspected of having COVID-19. Now this is really important because we've started to see shortages of face masks and N95 masks across hospitals and different care settings. And there have been efforts underway now to collect extra masks that people are willing to donate. And more information about that can be found linked in the description below. So while we're practicing social distancing and staying at home, what's the deal with takeout and getting packages and shipments in the mail? So currently, there's no evidence that COVID-19 can be transmitted through food sources, and the possibility that the virus can survive on packages is extremely low. That being said, it's important to continue practicing good hand hygiene before preparing food or after handling packages. Now, we understand that this isn't just a hectic time for our healthcare workers, but for everyone who may not have the privilege to be able to work from home during this time. And to all of you who are continuing to work, we appreciate you. So thank you all for joining us. These were your most frequently asked questions from over the last week. Uh, we just wanted to leave you with five key takeaways from our conversation today. First, social distancing is extremely important. Try to stay at home and to avoid gatherings as much as possible within the constraints of your situation. And this is important even if you feel well. Two, if you feel sick, call your doctor and self-isolate per your physician's recommendations. Three, wear a mask if you are feeling sick and have to interact with other people, or if you are caring for someone who has or is suspected of having COVID-19. Otherwise, please consider donating your mask to your local healthcare provider. Four, remember to continue practicing good personal hygiene. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough, try to not touch your face, and continue to disinfect commonly used surfaces. 
And lastly, to stay up to date on the latest information that we have on COVID-19, be sure to like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and please feel free to DM us with any questions that you might have. We'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. So everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. And please stay safe out there.